with our families, our friends, and cultivate them. And be able to not only see the differences, we may not agree, but at least respect people and be respectful. Sometimes we are the most disrespectful at home. I mean, we'll act out, I am one, trust me, no, right. my voice hits pitches that never knew existed <laughs> at home. <laughs> so again, just to uh, make sure that we are teachable and coachable. And when also to know that you're always seeking to be taught. I always, I choose to be a student. You know, Nicole will sit there and I can hear her story. I could hear this story probably 10 times. You know, little kid looking into the window. Wait, see, she's laughing. But I love that. <laughs> but you can choose because every day, you should be a new creature, right? You should be transforming. You should be brand new. So I listen to something with brand new ears, see something with brand new eyes every day. I, tr You know, I make a conscious effort to do that. And so because I choose to do that, I get to experience something new. I get to experience, you know, a story, a whole new way. I say, gosh, I didn't even hear that the first time I read it or the fifth time I read it. You know, you get to get something new and fresh out of it. And sometimes when you're going through this process, it could be of a transition, and it feels mundane, and it feels old and stagnant. It could be something fresh that you could be getting out of this experience. Something new that you could be getting out of the experience and the transformation. And a lot of times, um, I chose to go real deep during that time. You know, when you look at people in the workforce, I mean, they want a treadmill, I mean, they want a, this is a hamster wheel. Mm -hmm. Just going in a circle. Going in a complete circle and have it realized, is it lunchtime? Is it daytime outside? Is it raining out because they're in a cubicle? they in a room like this all day. They don't know if it's snow, blizzard, <laughs> anything. You know, they don't know until they come outside. And so even when you're going through a transition or going through the process, it doesn't have to be this horrible experience. Do you agree? Mm -hmm. You can choose to be outside and read a book and learn something new, create new friends, go to, decide to move. You know, we uh, decide to live. You know, just decide to live. That That's a new novel idea for some <laughs> My son decided that. <laughs> Praise <Who's> God. God. <laughs> Oh, that is a week ago. And that's and that's sometimes, you know, through those experiences, we think everything's about us. And sometimes it's not even about us. He that experience could have been about his mom getting rejuvenated with her life, a nurse getting rejuvenated about her life, the doctors coming around. I mean, you never know whose life has been touched or impacted through that experience. And so we don't take anything, you know, for granted or anything from not, that is not just about us. So many other people, last night was coming home from a meeting and the car in front of us got side, not sideswiped, just hit. And if it was just a fraction off or a car, you know, difference, it could have been my car. But, you know, the person driving was like, you know, why did that happen? I said, well, you know, we will never know why something like that happened, but then it didn't just impact the people who were right there. You know, the person that I'm talking to on 911, you know, she, that person's affected, the police officer, the, the track, I mean, just everything shifts. And wow. so, again, just to know how significant you are, that you impact everything. You impact everything. So the day you decide, I'm sleeping, it's okay. But just to know your life brings so much to this to this ball called Earth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, we we said yes to something. Mm -hmm. You know, we said that we were going to come here and do something. <laughs> Does anyone feel that? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Come on now. Does anyone really feel that? <laughs> I do. Yes. Who heard yeah. those words? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I live by. Say yes. Exactly. Experience <laughs> life. That you came here to do something. When I heard Cindy's story the first time about the voiceover, I'm, anything is possible. Curated, just knowing that you set your intentions for something. You did the work to get there as well, but you held that thing. And so that's the other piece where it says a vision. Our minds are able to co-create, build something new, something never seen before. So to know how powerful, let me say, so when we say dream, I don't know if anyone saw the movie Inception, I don't know how much time I've been so far, but okay. Um, anybody see the movie Inception? No. no. <laughs> you did. Well, I, I can't go into it very deep, but it's about dreams. So anyone who would, you're all dream, you all dream, dream. Who created that dream? Isn't that amazing? I don't know if y'all get into it. I'm a science person, you know, if y'all don't know by now, but a little bit. It's amazing what you're able to create in your dream. Do you get that? Do you know you went in, in the details? Have you seen the details in your dream sometime? Come on now. Oh yeah. So, my background is sales. So I'll take you, I have y'all up. Well, I, it was mostly ladies. Anyway, I used to sell Mary Kay. And so, I used to sell this whole roll up bag for 400 and some dollars, right? And the ladies were like, oh gosh, that's just too much. That's just, you know, that's a lot. I said, close your eyes and picture yourself in that outfit that you know is just slamming. That's the one that you just, <laughs> whoo, you know, when I walk in here, this is it. And you got the shoes, you got the accessories, I know the guys are with it, but think about a golf clubs or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and so you put the whole outfit together, and then I would say, and how many times did you wear that outfit? And on average, it was once or twice. You know, that outfit, y'all know what outfit I'm talking about. That outfit, maybe once or twice. And so how much did you spend on that outfit? And they were like, hmm, 400, 300, 200. You know, and so when they start looking at, well, you know what, I have spent $400 before and wore it one time. And this right here will last you three months. <laughs> and, change it and your skin will look like this. You know, it's like, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, stop selling. But, but again, it was about painting the picture, the vision. Mm -hmm. They could go back and see that entire outfit. They could see the entire. It's funny about visioning. My son says, Mom, you want to go to Jamaica? I'm like, sure, honey, let's go. He takes me to Jamaica just probably <laughs> now, not so often. But he used to take me to Jamaica like once a week. And how did we go to Jamaica? We put down the comforter. Sometimes we'd be on the porch, or sometimes we're just in the living room. He may have the ocean waves on, or we may create the ocean waves. You know, the little city with the ocean waves on. We're in Jamaica. I don't know about you all, but we're in Jamaica. Yes. <laughs> we can hear the surf. You know, I had. I'm telling you, the <laughs> sun. <laughs> Can you um, can yeah. you feel that now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the power in your vision, creating that, make it as big, as fluffy, smell it, taste it. That's how powerful your brain is. That's how powerful you are. You can create that big crazy dream you were talking about. I know Nicole gives you the exercise for it. Make it juicy. Make it big. You need to be able to smell it, taste it, feel it. I can smell the new leather in my Audi 8. I can smell, you know, and, and my son is amazing because one time I was like, I'm going to choose between a Mercedes and a BMW. He said, why do you have to choose? I said, Dang, God, you can beat me too. I was like, that's a good one, son. You know, I was the one limiting myself, right? right? And the thing about it is, we have to get past all those limitations because God has it all. 
I don't know if y'all think God is limited or not, but I know my God got it all, right? Right. But sometimes we limit God so much and think that 